School safety is on the minds of many today as tens of thousands of children get ready to go back to school in New Jersey this week, next week. Today, Governor Murphy announced new efforts to protect teachers and students. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has more from Paramus on new safety plans. To an outsider navigating through the halls of Eastbrook Middle School can take some time. But in the event of an emergency, first responders don't always have the luxury of time. If something were to happen, police, firefighters, EMTs, well, they would have to roll out blueprints to learn the layout. When you're pumped up on adrenaline and going into an emergency situation, that's not the time to process that information. The alternative is something called collaborative response graphics. This is an example of one created by virtual modeling firm Augmented Construction. It's a school in Westchester. The ones here in New Jersey, they'll look similar. These electronically accessible renderings can provide a much faster means for pinpointing locations and emergency routes than any traditional building schematic which may currently be in use. Governor Murphy here in Paramus announced they will use six and a half million dollars in federal funding to map 1,500 of the 3,000 schools statewide. The other half has already been mapped. Every second in these situations count. The pressure points, the doors, the vent shafts and such can be the real difference between life and death. Congressman Josh Gottheimer says shootings are a concern. He says since 2018, there have been 119 deaths or injuries reported at K through 12 schools nationwide. We know that this will make their jobs much easier when, God forbid, there's something that needs to be addressed immediately. It could be a fire, it could be infrastructure, it could be something else that maybe is not quite as emotionally charged where this could be relevant. The investment in this new technology is just one of several added security features over the years to make sure this remains a safe place for everyone. In Paramus, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.